Women feel sexually and romantically attracted to men who have a high level of social and emotional intelligence, but why is that? And how does it work? What's going on? One of the reasons social and emotional intelligence is so important to women in terms of their sexual and romantic attraction is that women tend to communicate their sexual and romantic interest in very subtle ways with very subtle signals and cues. And they expect men to be able to pick up on those. And one of the reasons for that is that women can't really go around being sexually aggressive and showing a lot of sexual interest because men instinctively know that if a woman is sexually aggressive and very forward about sex, then she may not be very trustworthy in a relationship, right? So women can't go around doing that and they expect men to be able to pick up on the fact that they are sexually and romantically interested without the woman having to say it directly. So a guy who has a high level of social and emotional intelligence will know about that. He will also know about so many other things to do with a woman's behavior that a guy who is naive simply won't understand. The naive guy will essentially need a woman to spell things out for him even though she won't because she doesn't want to seem too sexually aggressive or she wants to see if he's confident enough as a man to not become insecure when she's not being reassuring of her interest. Alternatively, she wants to see if he's interested enough in her to continue the interaction, even though she's not making it 100% obvious that she wants him sexually or romantically. She wants to see how interested he really is. So a guy with a high level of social and emotional intelligence understands those things and so many other things, which makes interactions between him and women naturally flow towards sex and a relationship. Yet a guy who is socially naive or inexperienced or a bit awkward or unsure will find that his interactions with women are very confusing. They don't make sense. Does she actually like me? I can't really tell. He's hoping for a really obvious sign of interest or her to maybe come on to him like women do in TV shows and movies where the woman almost always kisses the man first. Yet in the real world, a woman rarely will do that and she will wait for the man to have the confidence to make a move. Otherwise, she worries that she may seem too sexually aggressive or she worries that the man will take her for granted if they get into a relationship where he'll feel like she's just too easy and so forth, and for so many other reasons, right? Guys who have a high level of social and emotional intelligence understand these things, and women need you to be able to understand that so things can flow from one step to the next between you and her. Another problem that women encounter if they are too forward and open about sex is that most guys will happily have sex with a woman once or twice if she says yes. She doesn't really need to do anything, right? Men aren't checking to see if she's got social and emotional intelligence. Is she confident or shy? If she's not very confident, I don't want to have sex with her and so forth. Most men aren't looking for that sort of thing. And most men can instantly say yes or no to having sex with a woman without the woman having to do anything else. Right? He doesn't care what she does for a living, doesn't care what her hobbies are, doesn't care what her opinion on this or that is. It's just like, yes, you have nice boobs, you got a nice butt, your face looks good, let's get it on, right? He's just an instant yes in his mind. But women, when they interact with men, they're interested in things such as confidence, social intelligence, emotional intelligence, and so on. And that's one of the things that really confuses a lot of men who look good. Some men put in a lot of effort to build muscle and some men are very physically strong. They're tough guys, right? They could handle themselves in a fight. They're not afraid of things. They're just tough guys. But when they're interacting with a woman, they can easily start to feel unsure of themselves if the woman isn't being very reassuring or isn't being obvious about her interest. Right? So the guy will be interacting with her and she won't be making it obvious that she wants to be with him. And despite the fact that he's a very tough guy and usually isn't afraid of anything, suddenly he starts to feel afraid. He's worried about getting rejected. What if I show interest in this girl and she rejects me? Right? What if I try to make a move and she rejects me? And he starts to become very afraid of that. And as a result, she then starts to notice the change in his body language, in his vibe, in his behavior. She notices that he's afraid. She notices that he is unsure of himself and that turns her off. So if you're interacting with a woman and are unable to read her signals, it's important to understand that there are two paths that you can go down, the path of confidence or the path of insecurity. And it's important to remember that sometimes a woman will feel very attracted to you in the moment, but she will be worried about coming across as too keen, seeming too easy. And she may then seem like she's not that interested or she's losing interest. And if you then go down the path of insecurity as a result of that, 
then you're going to stuff things up because women aren't attracted to insecurity and men. They're not attracted to emotional weakness. But if you can just stay on the track of confidence, of believing in yourself, then she's going to feel attracted to that. The reason why she's going to feel attracted to you if you remain confident is that attraction is a reaction to attractive traits. And confidence is an attractive trait to women. So when women see, sense and feel that you are being confident, they naturally and automatically feel attracted to you. It's not something that the absolute majority of men need to see in a woman in order to feel sexually attracted to her, right? We don't need to see that she's confident, right? She's really brave and so forth. We don't need to see that, but women do need to see that from you. They do need to see that you're being confident no matter what. And if you're able to do that, they'll naturally feel attracted to you. So for example, a guy is interacting with a girl and she sometimes looks away when he makes eye contact with her and seems to be feeling a bit uncomfortable. A naive guy or a guy who lacks experience with women or doesn't really understand much about women will think that she's not interested or doesn't want to be around him because she's not holding eye contact. Alternatively, he will assume that he is being so awkward that he's causing her to feel uncomfortable because he doesn't understand that women are twice as likely to experience anxiety compared to men. He has been going through his life thinking that women are bulletproof. They are so confident in themselves. Of course, they know that every guy likes them and they'll never feel any anxiety or nervousness in a situation. They're just so strong. Yet the reality is that they experience anxiety a lot more than men do. Now, a socially intelligent guy will also understand that breaking eye contact in that way is often a sign of nervous attraction. Right, the woman feels attracted, but she is nervous and she is worried about getting rejected or worried about seeming too keen and so forth. She's feeling nervous in the moment. In other cases, breaking eye contact like that can be her way of showing that she's feeling less dominant around him and therefore she is naturally displaying submissive body language. And if a woman is feeling less dominant around a man, she is going to feel attracted to him. It's an automatic reaction. So the socially intelligent guy will maintain his confidence and know that she's feeling the connection, she's feeling the vibe, she's feeling the attraction, and it's all good. And it's subtle things like that which always happen during interactions with women that result in a woman letting down her guard and getting with a guy versus rejecting him because he can't handle the little bit of pressure that a woman may put on him to test his confidence before letting her guard down or the little bit of awkwardness that can exist due to her feeling a bit nervous or anxious. And the thing is, when a guy doesn't understand what's going on between men and women, he will often assume that he's not good looking enough or successful enough, even though his friends who look as good as him, or in some cases don't look as good as him, are getting laid and getting a girlfriend. Additionally, his friends are also usually at the same kind of level of success in life as well, but they don't have any problem getting girls. It's very confusing to him because no one tells him the sort of things that you've been learning about in this video. It's not something that is impossible for a man to understand. It's not a case of women being too difficult, too complex. I can't understand it. Because if that was the case, then how would any guy be able to get himself a girlfriend? You simply need to understand why women behave in the ways that they behave and why they feel attracted to certain traits and behaviors in men. When a guy understands that and he starts doing it, he notices that women suddenly then start feeling attracted to him. And if he's able to understand their signals and have the confidence to then make a move, he starts getting the results that he's been missing out on. And it's no longer a case of him missing out on perfectly good opportunities with women that just keep slipping through his fingers. And by the way, if you want to get an exclusive lesson on social intelligence that includes 32 examples of what to say to make a woman feel sexually and romantically attracted to you by displaying social intelligence, then head over to masterattraction.com. There is also a lesson on emotional intelligence with 41 examples of what to say. And the technique that I teach in that lesson is called Clever Comebacks. And essentially it teaches you how to handle the tests that women put you through when they say something a bit challenging. To test your confidence or emotional IQ, right? Are you going to crumble under the pressure? Are you going to start doubting yourself? Are you going to start feeling like she's losing interest or that you're not good enough for her and so on? When you're able to use what I call clever comebacks, the woman knows that you are more emotionally intelligent than her and that attracts her to you magnetically. She feels so impressed that she isn't able to walk all over you, that you're able to maintain your confidence, maintain your composure 
and not crumble under the little bit of pressure that she is putting on you. A simple comment from a woman or a challenge from a woman in the moment isn't something that should make you crumble as a man. By the way, I only opened Master Attraction last month and here's some of what members are already saying. Two of the members of the MAC, that's the Master Attraction community, which you get access to when you're learning from the lessons, went out to meet women together and this member picked up a cute blonde and it was the first girl that he'd ever picked up at a bar. Another member went out and used the techniques that he'd been learning just in the first month of the lessons that you'll get and he kissed six girls in one night and got three phone numbers. Another couple of members met up and had all sorts of fun with girls all day. All sorts of things were going on there. And three other members caught up and they were approaching non-stop and getting various good results. They were saying they managed to get a phone number and one of the guys overcame his approach anxiety. Another guy used the technique that I teach in the first lesson on confidence and it resulted in his yoga instructor really wanting him and him having to basically do nothing but ask her out. And he then hooked up with her that night. And finally, another guy used the technique that I teach in the first lesson on confidence and he noticed that women were getting closer to him than usual. They were showing him interest and giving him what he called the look. And this is what happens when you use the technique. Women feel magnetically attracted to you and it's taught in the first lesson on confidence at Master Attraction. Alternatively, if you want to continue learning from me on YouTube right now, watch one of the videos on the screen. See you in the next video.